Hello everybody and welcome back to Neumann Mini Brun and it's a beautiful April morning in the valley and look at the valley it's fantastic today and look at all the fresh air and the carbon dioxide coming out of that chimney <laughs> but I thought I'd start today at this greenhouse because this greenhouse I always do things behind the scenes this greenhouse makes grapes and olives for us and at the moment it's making nothing because there's materials missing but it has been making grapes I think so at the moment I needed to make olives so I'm gonna put in it seeds and solid fertilizer let's just find some seed actually I need to go to spawn items and do a pallet of seeds in fact two pallets of seeds and this is what happens they sort of bounce around and it kind of goes in here if I turn on super strength I can pick that one up and put it all in All done. And before I do anything else, I'm got, I need to go to this uh, um, greenhouse and switch production to olives and turn off grapes and have it distributing to the, the olive mill because that's short of olives at the moment. So the final thing I need to do is go to power tools again, spawn objects and a pallet of solid fertilizer and two of those. So they're going to do the same thing again, bounce around and eventually... we have enough of everything we should have enough of everything in here to yeah it's producing olives now and it's distributing them so this is all fine and I thought to myself as well in March grapes are a very high price so next March when it comes to next March we should we should make loads and loads of grapes and sell them when they're, when they're at the highest but for now I have to pay for what I've just bought so let's uh, find out how much it all is it's 5,240 so I'll go to add and remove money and I'll take away 5240 so that's all set up for now so we have much more important things to do than this today um, namely let's go back to our farm here and yesterday or the last episode we cultivated this field over here now this field by the way look at all the eggs they produce quite a lot of eggs there's only 100 chickens but they've got quite a lot of eggs and I'm, I'm gonna buy a production today to use these eggs uh, I'll tell you about that later but for the moment we need to repair this field because when we look at it well we're standing on it but you can see the nitrogen is really bad and the pH the normal thing that the, the lime it needs lime and, and uh, nitrogen now the good thing is we have cows now and they're producing slurry and we can use some of that to put on this field there's not much of it but we can use it so I think this 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 cow barn is really handily placed because we have the fields all around and it's easy to get from here to the fields to collect the slurry so all right let's find ourselves a slurry spreader I go for Old Faithful here and I need it to have the John Deere manure sensing system and we'll hire that so where's our truck All right, let's attach it up. Look how dirty it is, actually. I'll just, uh, while I'm here, <laughs> I might as well, while I'm here, just do this. Okay, let's get off to the shop and pick up our slurry spreader. I was just watching the Mr. Mr. Sealy P video and he said this uh, there's an update for this map and I'm terrified about updates because they often need a new save game and uh, this update said it doesn't need a save game but then after the wrong thing after at the end of the, the notes it said this bit of it does need a new save game so I'm I'm terrified of um, updating the map because I might need to start all over again so let's go and get our fent tractor so I don't think there's big things in the um, in the update I think there's stuff like there's a pond somewhere and you can get water out of it and you can swim in it now or something so but uh, I don't think there's there are things that are really pertinent to to, to this series or, or that we need to you know to, to carry on so anyway I need to find the slurry point here and I think 
yeah I think it's just in front of us here actually so let's see if I can maneuver my way in yeah nice okay there's only a little bit this is just symbolic I'm just gonna do a little bit of the field with this slurry I mean in future we'll have lots of slurry from this from the cows if we've only just got them but I'd like to just do this little bit of slurry from the cows and then I'll use power tools to uh, to fill up so <laughs> What I would like to do on this field is to make it a grass field but I'd like to put uh, some sheep down on it so we'll still have the grass for sheep and well for the cows for making TMR eventually um, so that's that's the plan but obviously we need to put lime on it now so um, I'll just wrap this up I don't think we need to do anything else and I'm just thinking to myself I can see it from here but there's a there's a field over here that we planted corn in I think that was yesterday and I need to see if it's in its first growth uh, it doesn't look like it is let's have a look no I'm pretty sure we put corn in here let's just stand on it and see yeah corn is growing pH is perfect nitrogen is bad because we need to give it the second coat of fertilizer okay um, I think what I'll do is immediately do the liming. So let's go and go and get ourselves. Look at the, look at the cows. Go and get ourselves a lime spreader. Actually, let's have a look in the bargain bucket here. Uh, anything of interest today? What's this? Disc harrow. That might be. Yeah, maybe. No, no I don't think so. No. Um, so I need to. Well, I'd probably send this back, I suppose, if the, the, the deer are finished with it. Um, I don't think I need it for anything else. We haven't got, can't afford to buy any more fields today. By the way, talking about money, let's just have a look at the stock index, which is here. Now, are there any big numbers here? There's sugar, which is distributing. Yeah, everything's green, but not very big numbers. I think I'll leave selling stuff for today and let it accumulate a bit more. But first of all, Let's get off the field. And I'll just park this over here. I don't think that we need... Can I put slurry in here, by the way? <laughs> I don't think I can. I don't think we need this slurry spreader for anything, but I'll just leave it here just in case. And we need to find ourselves a lime spreader I don't think we've got one on the on the farm here let's have a look no I'm sure we haven't all right let's go back and get ourselves a lime spreader I went the whole hog and got us a drill as well because it's quite a small field if we get this done today That'll be, I'll be pleased with that because uh, it's just like grass and we never have to do anything else to it basically apart from fertilise it after we've harvested it. So, alright, let's um, turn that off and get this off ever so gracefully <laughs> like this and uh, put it around this way. And then, yeah, so I think what we'll do is... If I can just turn off super strength again. Where's our tractor? Just there. Okay. All right, let's get things organized and get onto the field.
I found some lime in the shed so I put that in it I didn't want to buy any more so I just got the stuff out of the shed and put that in it so all right let's put this again on a little bit of a time lapse So we just have the seeding to do now and I'd, I'd like to get that done today and then we can just skip on to tomorrow because there's nothing much else to do today but before we do skip on to tomorrow I'd like to check on things like the productions and make sure there's no nothing missing or any red dots or anything like that so let's go from the top the tomatoes are fine they've got water uh, olives yeah I've just put olives oil on and there's grapes in there and the sawmill has got yeah there's loads of wood in there metal probably need to get some more iron ore actually um and there's some wood in the sawmill we should take some more wood to the sawmill i think and the furniture factory is fine and this one is fine and this one is fine so more wood and more metal but we we'll do that tomorrow for, for the moment let's try and get in here actually Things are lagging. I think it's because of the update. I'm not sure, but things are a bit laggy in Farming Simulator at the moment. See? <laughs> Let's get out. Um, yeah, I think I'll just finish off this field by putting grass seed in it, and then we'll skip to tomorrow. completed completely completed okay let's fold it up and just want to stand on the field to see what it says nitrogen is bad but we need to spray it don't we so pH is perfect and the grass is growing and loamy sand I don't think there's any uh, silty clay on this field so all we need to do now is just get the get the uh, the seed out of here and send a few things back and then we'll skip to tomorrow All right, that's everything done. Let's skip to tomorrow. Great demand to sell everything. I wonder what that's about. I'll, do, I'll check that in a minute, actually. I just want to have a look at our field. Oh, look at this. Oh, nice. Grass is growing. Get off of here. Get out of it. And what about the cornfield? And this is our barley here, which is due to be harvested, I think, in about July. Uh, great demand to sell everything. I'll have a look at that in a sec. Let's go and look at our cornfield. Look at this. First growth. Okay, so we need to fertilise this and we need to put uh, herbicide on it as well. But I would like to do something else for the moment. I'd like to... We need to. Get, I said yesterday, uh, or in, yeah, yesterday in the episode, that I'd like to get some more metal. So I'm going to take the lorry... And we have a trailer, which is up, unfortunately not here, which is up at our... I'll show you where it is, actually. Every time I pause, it's saving. It's annoying. It's up here. It's this one here. So I'm going to get that, and I'm going to go down to the, the farmer's market and pick up some more metal, and I'll see you when I get there. So, here we are at the farmer's market, and if you don't know this map, the farmer's market provides you with free iron ore, and uh, 
I'd like to see if we can get free iron ore and sell it for a good price. My my friend and compadre Kartek suggested this to me. He's a fellow YouTuber and he said to me, why don't you try selling it? So I might do that, but I just need to get probably about 30,000 litres of this stuff first. Ooh, so close. Virtually impossible to get it on 30,000. I just forgot actually that uh, we had that thing to say great demand at sell everything. I just want to go to the stock index and see what that's about. Sell everything. Everything is green. Look at this. Everything is green. But there's not big numbers here. Planks long. Uh, that's a pain to do that. So I think I'll just leave it all actually and let it all just accumulate a little bit more. Anyway, let's get up to the iron furnace. There's a lot of lagging in Farming Simulator today, but I think it's because of the update. There's some reason for it. You have to kind of uh, go in and out of the game a few times for it to, to correct itself. So. Uh, let's just maybe s try and sell about a thousand litres of, of iron ore and see how much we get for it. If I can go over here, because I did get a sign last time I passed over this to try and to sell it. Yeah, so... Three thousand? Flipping heck, that's just for two thousand litres. So 3,000, that's 1,500 per litre. So for 28, we get like about 42,000. So is it worth me selling all of this stuff for 42,000? Let's try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Good grief. It's about 53,000, so we must have got about 56,000 from selling the iron ore. Free iron ore! It's a license to print money, everybody. But now I don't have any iron ore for the iron furnace, so I'm going to go back and get some more. I finally, finally found an infinite money cheat in Farming Simulator, thanks to Caltech. And uh, if we can set up some kind of pipeline from the, uh, the farmer's market to here, we'd have an endless stream of money. But I can't do that, so that's just <laughs> wishful thinking. But let's put it in here, because we do need, we do need a load of this stuff. By the way, I, I took a bit of a risk and got 10,000 more litres of this stuff than I usually get. I do, usually get 30,000, and this time it's about 40,000. So let's put it all in the iron furnace let's just see actually in our iron furnace again with the with the saving <laughs> where's where is it where is it it's just here 41,000 so we've got 41,000 litres of metal in there and the other thing we need today is wood so I'll see you at the forest So this is our forest to the right of us and it's very bushy, it puts me off a bit actually but uh, it'll be okay. If I just go up here a little bit there's, there's more trees so uh, while we're in the forest there's something hiding in this forest. Now where is it? There's a sugar mill over here but there's something else. Now let me, f I found it the other day, let me see if I can find it again. Yes it's this tower over here. Okay, let's run up the stairs. Okay, so up here, someone's watching something on here, and here is a collectible. Other looking like a pastry, but it is a collectible. Sixty-two and a half thousand, and I'm not sure how many we've got now, but uh, quite a lot. So let's go back to the truck. But I'm out of time for the episode, I'm afraid. So I'll have to do all the forestry next time. We'll start the episode with it. 
and we'll take it all to the sawmill I think it is the one in the north and um, lots of other stuff to do uh, so we've got quite a lot of money now we might be able to buy a new field or something I'm not sure but uh, I'll see you next time and bye for now